the cleanup efforts now underway after a hailstorm rolled through Highlands County. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. Take a look at this video you see right here behind me. A viewer sent into ABC Action News. It shows massive hail raining down on her yard, causing some major damage to her property. And ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit spent the day in the storm zone where she found families picking up the pieces. <laughs> Dramatic scenes just before seven Monday night. Golf ball sized hell plummeting down in Highlands County. This is what Nicole or Alana saw from the front door of her Avon Park home. Like, oh my God, I've never seen anything like this before in my life. It was like hurricane intensity, you know? And we were just staring at our car, hoping to pray and, you know, the windshield wouldn't break. Her two vehicles bore the brunt of the storm. There's also dents on the trunk all over it. Hell creating dents all over one vehicle, shattering its grill. Right here and right there got smashed. And cracking the windshield of another. I found Oralana cleaning up her yard, throwing out her children's toys that were destroyed. Her three kids were outside playing right before the storm hit. I'm glad they came in when they did because it, they could have been hurt. Uh, um, one of them was three, so he's, he's a little one. But they all made it in safe. Freaked out, but safe. Hell amazingly missed Orlana's home, but her neighbors weren't as lucky. Home after home on this street hit with hell, resembling damage from a shotgun. Damage has been reported from Venus to Avon Park, as well as in Sebring. They were probably around like that, close to bigger than a golf ball, but not as big as a baseball. Sunday Dickerson was home with her husband and daughter Monday night and didn't know a storm was coming. And then I thought it was a tornado because just the way it was coming through, I thought, okay, and then it just got worse. The next thing I know, then windows were blown out. Two windows of her home smashed in, now replaced with plywood. The holes on the house, too many to count. And the screen ripped open. Just took it all out, all through there. Diggerson, who moved to Avon Park from Indiana, didn't think a hailstorm of this magnitude could happen here. It was a real shocker to see the hail that size because I'd never even seen hail that size up north. Usually it's like, you know, pea sized hail, maybe even quarter. You can see the boat under the shed remained untouched, but all three cars in the driveway were beat pretty bad. The back window of this Toyota completely shattered from the roof to the side, riddled with holes. And it didn't stop there. Hell taking its wrath out on this wheel cover. It's not clear yet how many homes have hell damage. What is clear is that the storm left a mess that will take a few days to clean up. That's an act of nature. It is what it is. You just pay for it, you fix it, and you move on. In Highlands County, Rebecca Petit. ABC Action News. It's there. I reached out to Jake Holhouse this afternoon with HH Insurance Group out of St. Pete to ask him what to look out for when navigating this tricky world of making an insurance claim. He told me one of the challenges is finding your insurance policy to see what your coverage is in instances like hail damage. He said many times it will fall under your standard deductible, which is much less than your hurricane deductible. But he said be careful when roofers come knocking on your door right away before you do your own research or before talking to your insurance carrier. Probably about two or three months ago, you had a couple roofing contractors uh, arrested for this type of practice down in the Fort Myers type area. And so that's really what you as the homeowner want to avoid. And so you want to work with that company that not necessarily is the first to knock on the door, but that has the best reputation and that oftentimes is the preferred provider of your homeowner's insurance company. That way, if there is damage to your roof, you're able to find it quickly and get it repaired quickly. Well, Jake told me if your car sustained hail damage, that would fall under your comprehensive auto claim coverage, which can range anywhere from $100 to $500. He also said this is a good reminder to start videoing your home's contents ahead of hurricane season.